gonna try something really, really different here. And I don't have a clue what I'm doing right now. But this I thought would be just something different to try. And I'm gonna do a reading, a Celtic cross with five decks. So some positions will have one deck, another position will have another deck. And we're gonna make this, uh, we're gonna make this, see if we can make this reading something for everybody that's watching. So hopefully there'll be something in this reading for you. Now wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right now. So, five decks. I'll start out with the oldest, and that's the uh, Celtic Cross. I mean the uh, Tarot Marseille. We'll put the first two cards, Tarot Marseille, Knight of Swords, with the King of Swords. Taking action right now to find more information about something you're doing. And we're going to lay these down in general with general meaning and then we're going to see if we're going to go into some type of specific messages we can get from it. Now I'll take the Rider deck and I'll put uh, two more cards. So that's a nice card to put. Okay, we won't use that one. Okay, I'm going to put down the Nine of Wands as far as what you're, what you're going through right now, what you're, what you're, the actions you're taking right now. And I'm going to put down here the Aquarium deck for four position, Temperance. Temperance. So the actions you're taking right now in some specific inspiring endeavor you're going through you're trying to create. Now we'll take the Crowley deck and we got the High Priestess over here. I'll throw two for Crowley. High Priestess to the Knight of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, High Priestess over here. What you have going for you is you have a lot of wisdom in this situation you're trying to achieve right now. A lot of potential and the ability to take action soon. What do we got now? Let me see here. Mary Hanson Roberts deck for position number seven. Position number seven, Mary Hanson Roberts. We got the Magician card. It's the way you're seeing this situation. You're seeing it with a lot of capability, a lot of confidence, feeling like uh, you have something very significant here. Very optimistic about it. I'll throw two down for Mary Hanson Roberts. Seven of Cups, the timing right now. Time is the time for success. Time of success, so it is time to take action. We'll go back to the weight for the number nine position. Here we got the world card. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying to achieve something short term, something that really inspires you. Try to uh, attain something that really inspires you, trying to cr create something, accomplish something. Here in the uh, nine position is the purpose though, and I just see it for a more qual better quality of life, a very significant stage in your goals of what you're trying to do. And we'll go back with one more Aquarian deck, Four of Pentacles for the number 10 position. Okay, now we have a Celtic cross here. And, uh, <laughs> I've never seen something like this before. But um, I just, I thought it'd be fun to do. So, <laughs> so we'll see how it goes here. Anyway, yeah, you're trying to, if, if anybody's going through actions, taking actions right now to try to learn more about something, something that inspires them, I see uh, a time right now where the actions you're taking seem that they'll be significant and I see rewards coming from that with uh, going down here to the temperance card. So I think your, your movements or your efforts are going to pay off. If anything, I see you being more motivated, more inspired as you move forward with this situation. What you have going for you with the high priestess over here is you have a lot of knowledge about this 
So you have that going for you. Well, uh, knowledge is, is uh, you're wise in this situation. So I don't see you being a novice. If it is something you don't know anything about, I see these things coming naturally to you with the high priestess. So you'll be, um, you cut out for this situation. Keep moving on your quest with this because you really seem to have a talent for it with what you're trying to accomplish. You have something going for you with that. Obviously, uh, in the opportunity position here, the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, this looks like this looks good because you have the Knight of Pentacles is action. So I, I do see you able to move forward in ways as you uh, proceed here. The more you learn, the more you're going to be able to learn to move forward on. Magician card in the seventh position. Your perception of the question. I'm seeing a uh, you have you have confidence in this. You, you might already know that you you're pretty pretty well versed in this situation, or you just got a you got a knack for it, because the magician card over here shows me you're you're willing to take action. You're willing to move forward with it. You're preparing very well, and I think you got all your ducks in a row. Lots of times people are confused about their question or their goal, what they're trying to accomplish. They don't even really know for sure what it is themselves as far as specifically. And, um, but I think you're very, uh, you, have a, you have a good, if you can concentrate on having a good insight on what it is you're trying to, to achieve. Take a look at your question. Take a good look at it. This, this magician card is preparation too. It's, it's, um, Preparation is very, uh, magician is very um, exact and very precise with things, very calculated. So it would be in your best interest to whatever it is you're looking into, to really research it and um, find out all you can about it and, and, and feel confident about what it is you're doing when, you, when you're actually at the point of when you're going to try to execute whatever it is you're doing. Confidence is going to be key for you. Seven of Cups position here in the in number eight position. Seven of Cups in the eighth position. Eighth position is timing. Sevens are success. So I see the um, I see this. The timing is right. To, to things will fall into place if you uh, if you take action. If you if you don't take action, you. Um, you might let opportunities pass you by here. So, if you apply yourself, you'll find things fall your way pretty well. Um, initiative is important, and I think that's important for anybody who's trying to do anything anyway. Things don't fall on your lap. They just, um, you, have to, you have to go out and try to, try to grab them. And so, look at options that you have, and look at ideas and move on them and see what you can do with those. Your, your ultimate goal and what you're trying to accomplish, make sure it's something that you really think you need or you want. Lots of times what we, what we look for, if we ever really got it, we'd look at it and say, is this really what I wanted? So the world card shows me, make sure your purpose here is something that um, is really what you want. You're going through a situation where there is seem to be a lot of progress so you can make progress if you move forward. And right now it seems to inspire you. That's a good motivator. Inspiration is a good motivator for anybody trying to accomplish anything. Being inspired about it really helps. And that's one thing I say with money. Money doesn't really inspire people. So if you're trying to do something for money or it's a good investment or it's a good way to make money that doesn't last long as far as an inspiration. It's something that really moves you. It'll stay with you for a while. But make sure with the nine position here, the world card, that um, think about it. If you really had this situation, would you really be happy with it? Sometimes we're chasing things and when we get them, we're like, I don't know if this is really what I wanted. So giving it some careful thought is if this is really what I want or should I fine tune things? balance them, um, refine it in some way. 
understanding what it is you're really trying to accomplish is is would be key. Here in the number 10 position we have the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles is st stability. Things are um, structured, they're, they're put into place, they become very predictable. As you move forward on your quest, I see things in, going along as you anticipated. So again, if the careful planning on anything will pay off. If it's planned carefully, things will fall into place the way you plan them to fall into place. So look at your assets. Look at what you have going for you. This is important. We all have things we, we, we're, we have, uh, we have uniqueness. We all, well, everybody's unique. Look at the things you have going for you that others don't in, in this quest that you're doing. What makes you stand out in some way? And if you take initiative, that's key here with the knight. Searching for more knowledge about it and making sure you have all the information on this issue you're looking into and taking action on that. So I'm doing more than just thinking about it, but actually taking action in some way. I see that action paying off as you move forward with attempts and trying to to make things happen here with some results. That'll pay off for you. You know, if, if people take the time to really try to make something happen, lots of times they'll, they'll make a lot of progress with it. It's just a matter of trying. And keep in mind what's really in your heart when you do this. And keep in mind, is this really what you want? If it's really what you want, I do things co see coming out as predicted in your mind, the way they're going to come out. Because of the preparation that you've taken, you're taking the time to prepare, to think things out carefully, to make sure that you're in a, that you're, you're moving forward in, in the right way, in the right, in the, doing the right, taking the right actions. And having it in your heart to do this. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups here, your timing. Seven of Cups is, um, like I said, that's success. Look for things that are, gonna, that are in your favor as you move forward and grab those. Look for opportunities. Look for things that might be positive possibilities as you feel your way through this, this um, goal you're, you're trying to accomplish. And grab them when they come. The knights are action. Keep in mind the knight, uh, the attributes of a knight. They don't wait for things to fall on their lap. They, they, they see it, the opportunity, and they grab it. But you have to have the knowledge of what you're doing. Take what's good, uh, take the, the talents you have, the, the things that are going for you, and enhance them. Don't look at them as, well, I have that going for me. I don't need to worry about that. No, you want to take those talents and you want to make them even sharper than they are. Because that's your strong point. Take what's your strong point and, and um, make it even stronger. If you do that, you follow your heart, what really moves you, carefully making sure that this is what you want, you'll see opportunities for, for uh, pr progress because your eyes will be open to it. Don't get discouraged. Keep up the faith on things. Believe in yourself. And remember that you deserve to have happiness just like everybody else does.
Visualize what you want. Visualize that. And if you can visualize it, it will come through you out and will manifest itself. It'll be what you predict that you want will come to pass if you can prepare for it, take action, see opportunities when they come and grab them, power the night, keep enhancing the talents you have already, the strong points you have already, keep, them, keep making them stronger. Don't worry about your weaknesses. Everybody has weaknesses. A lot of those you're not going to be able to do anything about. But focus on your on your strong points and make that something that's even that's just phenomenal. And visualize the final outcome. Visualize the success of it. And this is really different. <laughs> anyway. I just wanted to do this for grins and um, to see how it would work. And I hope you like it. It was just something fun to do. And I guess it does work. You can do it if you wanted to use different decks. I don't see any reason to, but I just wanted to see if it would work. So I hope you like this. Keep throwing cards, and we'll talk soon. Bye.